Tonight, I want to do an activation with you where we pray and we connect our lives to Jesus. And so my title for tonight is Abide in Jesus. In James chapter 3 verse 12, it says, Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olives, or a grapevine bear figs? Thus no spring yields both salt water and fresh. And so when we are connected to Him, and when we abide in Jesus, we will allow His life to burst through us, and the fruit that we will produce in our lives will be Jesus' fruit. It will be His life. It will be His creativity, His love uh, that flows out of Him. We will be the light as He is the light. In John chapter 5 verse 17 we read, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Wow. So the condition for us to ask what we desire and, and it be done for us is that we have to abide in him. So, you know, and, and that other verse that we just read said, you know, if you, it's not possible for you to be connected to him and bad fruit to come out of your life. But it's also not possible for you to be connected to, uh, you know, a bad uh, connection there and good fruit to come out of your life. So we have to abide in him and then he will give us the desires of our lives. That is amazing. So I want to start praying here before we continue to read more scriptures. And I want us to do a prayer and want ourselves to get activated to abide in him. So, Lord, we want to present ourselves before you. Lord, we thank you and we worship you, Lord, and we give you praises. And Lord, we present ourselves in your court today. And Lord, our desire is that we want to abide in you. I want you to see yourself, how you are in Jesus if you can do it, I want you to step into him. And so, Jesus, I step right now into you. You are my Lord and my Savior. And Lord, thank you for your word that abides in me. And so I just want you to allow the words and the promises that Jesus has spoken to you just rush over your life. And so, Lord, thank you for your words that's in me. And so, Lord, I just want to bring all the promises and the words that you have spoken to my life. Lord, I bring it to the forefront. And I say, yes, Lord, I receive it with joy and with gladness. Right. And so, Lord, I come now and I align my desires with your desires for my life. Lord, thank you that whatever I ask, it will be done for me. And so, Lord, I come and I ask, Lord, that I can dwell in your house, that I can fulfill the purpose that you have for my life. And Lord, that you will prosper me, that you will give me people, connections, the right place at the right time, protection, that you'll give me resources so that I can fulfill your purpose and establish your kingdom. Lord, thank you that you are a good father that take care of me. Let's go to Matthew chapter 18. It says, again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I'm there in the midst of them. And so, Lord, we come into agreement as family members, uh, as uh, uh, members and brethren in the body of Christ, Lord. We come into unity in an agreement with what you are saying. Because the two is going to come into agreement with the three. You understand the three is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That is uh, what heaven is saying. It's the eldership of heaven. Uh, and that is the word of God. And so when two people can come into agreement with what God is saying, uh, then it says here that the Lord will be there in their midst. And uh, whatever they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. And so when it says, my Father in heaven will do it, it means the whole host of heaven, all the angels, because they all do the bidding of the Father. And so, Lord, we come into agreement with one another, and as a, as a unit, Lord, we come into agreement with what you are saying and what you are speaking on the earth. 
And so, Lord, we ask as Jesus taught us how to pray, let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Psalm 37 verse 4 to 6 says, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Wow. Step one, delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. And so when we delight ourselves in the Lord, we actually connect our desires to his desires. And then he says, I'll give it to you. It's just very simple. Come into agreement with me and get excited about the things that I'm excited about. And so, Lord, we delight ourselves in you. And Lord, we come into agreement with you and we get excited about the things that you are excited about. And so, Lord, we commit our way, our future to you, Lord. We trust in you, Lord. We give our future to you. And Lord, thank you that it shall come to pass what you have spoken over our lives, Lord. You shall bring forth our righteousness as the light and uh, our justice as the noonday. And so, Lord, thank you for your righteousness, for your light, for your justice that is coming forth. And so, Lord, we dishonor you. We delight our lives in you. And we receive your presence. We receive your Holy Spirit. We receive the anointing of God that breaks the yoke. And, Lord, we align ourselves with your call, with your purposes in our life. And we, Lord, we say we love you. We delight ourselves in you. We give you honor and praise. Amen.